welcome to my youtube channel here i'll be describing uh, some of the basic function of some of these uh, uh, parts on the washing machine uh, here is uh, the solenoid valve this is the electrical uh, control for water intake if there is no water going to the soap collector this is the soap collector chamber. There is no water going into it. It means the solenoid is bad. If there is no water going into the drum, it means the solenoid is bad. If you cannot find water inside your drum, it shows that you no. Know, the solenoid is bad. This is the counterweight. This is what helps the machine to retain its position. I mean the, the drum. So as not to uh, be given unbalanced position at all times. This is the tension spring. Uh, this one is helps the drum to maintain its position. You can see as you rock, helping it to stay. So when you see uh, the drum falling to one side, check your spring. They are on both ends. There's one at this corner also. Down here, this place is a bit dark. You check it and see whether it's cut off. This is the control panel. This is what helps the machine to, to work properly. This is like a brain box. It is the brain box of the machine. It has a console control. This is the console. This is the console. You can see. This is the power button. On and off button. This is start and pause button. These are options to select. This is the temperature button. This one is program selects. And all these functions are controlled by the brain box, as I've earlier explained. Sometimes when your program is not activated or it's not working properly, it tells you that your brain box is faulty. You need to check exactly what is wrong with the brain box and fix it or probably replace it. Now, no, this is the drum or the basket that retains your linen. You can see it sometimes. When you see this thing leaking, it shows that either your seal, your rubber seal is broken or is teared somewhere. This is the door mechanism. This door mechanism is a safety system. If this door mechanism is not in place, if it's faulty, the machine will not work in the sense that whenever you close this door this way whenever the door is closed whenever the door is closed and the machine is on on position it display a key here and this key tells you that you no know, the door is closed and that is when the machine can power on and start you no know, washing so it's a safety uh, device this is the drain let me see if i can open it this is the drain when your machine is not it's not draining this is where you check you check you open and remove all the particles inside the strainer inside the strainer but before you do that look at this you can open this seal or this stopper to drain the water inside the draining pump so as not to you know i fill everywhere with water when the machine is not draining this is where you check you open it 
from here open and open this turn it at the clockwisely and once you have finished removing all the debris and all the dirt inside you lock it back and make sure it is properly sealed so when your match is not draining you check here And also, if this is uh, the water sensor, this water sensor device, you can see for this particular machine, if your machine is not taking in water, sometimes you need to check the water sensor and see if the water sensor is okay or it's taking water, it's taking water continuously without stoppage. You check this. Uh, particular drain uh, I mean I, I'm, uh, you check this particular uh, sensor it's a pressure you no know, sensor it sends the pressure of water inside the drum or basket and send it to this this now send the signal to the brain box and this helps the brain box to activate properly and if your drum is not rolling, this is an indirect drive. It has a motor down. Look at the motor here. Look at the motor. So, in this indirect drive, if your drum is not turning, check if this belt is cut off. If the belt is cut off, you, you replace. Then if the motor is not working, you find out what is wrong with the motor. Uh, this machine can also uh, heat up water. You can see this is the element. This is uh, the thermostat attached to it. You check all this if your machine is not heating up water and not giving you the required temperature. So you check your element and make sure that you know, they are in order. Thank you. Uh, please watch out for my other YouTube videos. I appreciate. Uh, Sometimes there are other type of uh, machines that have screen display that will be telling you all the type of faults that are applicable to that model. Uh, this is a Samsung 5.5 kg. It's a small machine. It has a very small screen, as you as you see on the console or the panel control. Other machines have other specification, another type of faults that may not be peculiar to this particular one. So it's always good for you to uh, make sure. You make reference to the manufacturer's guide and also the maintenance guide for each machine. Endeavor to look for the circuit diagram and also the maintenance uh, procedure and the codes. There are some of them that have codes. If there's a fault on the drain line, I to it will show you the code for the drain line. If there's a fault with the solenoid valve, water solenoid valve, it will show you the code. If there's a fault on the door mechanism, it will show you the code. And most of the code are on, they are usually displayed on the screen. And it's usually important for you to find out, and possibly even Google. You can Google, you know each code for each machine so as to be sure of exactly what you are doing so that you now go and begin to work on a particular issue that is not the actual problem of the machine thank you